Well, we told y'all we can give you a, a garden tour. Things seem to be coming along pretty good. Some of this squash looks better on this end than it does well, down on the other end. Later. Yeah, they were. But a lot of stuff in here was planted at different times. Yeah. Our, our whole, all of our gardens. But anyway, this is our squash here. We'll be getting a few off these uh, end bushes here. And this is our peas. How many rows is that we got, Robin? Over here. Two, four. three, four. They're looking real good. They got blooms on them. And here's some more of our beans. We use this um, ground cover fabric in this one garden. Crowd of peas. Yeah, that's crowd of peas there. Baby limas. Henderson baby lima beans. Baby limas. Here's more squash. Some okra. That whole row there is okra. More beans. This is emerald velvet okra. First time I planted them out, I usually do the Clinton style one. And one row of corn. And over here, we planted some different uh, flowers and stuff. Some of them's come up, some of them didn't. And all these out here on the edge are volunteer from last year. We just let them grow. And this is the ground cover garden. Yeah, that's what I said. Do what? We still have some stuff. Yeah, we still have stuff. We some ground terries that volunteer every year out here. Yeah. He's tomatoes here yeah, just now. Leftover tomatoes. Yeah, leftovers. We planted them a little late and got them all strung up. But they got blooms and maters on them, though. Small maters. It's a Cherokee tan. Yep, those are playing real late. Yep. That's the first that didn't come up. See those little ground cherries that volunteer on the ground all the time? Yep, right there. Yeah, and this is out of here, away from the house, out here in the big garden. This is Hickory King corn. This is where we're leasing the field. Yeah, we're leasing this property. There's our honeybees over there. Sunflowers starting to bloom out there. All that sunflowers I planted out there have been so dry, even down that wood line. Been so dry though that they hadn't hadn't bloomed out, but they starting to do so now. We got a little bit of rain yesterday. Hope was hope and we've been putting a sprinkle on these, but we didn't get with a sprinkle of rain yesterday. Clouder peas right here. If you can look right there on that board, I was having a problem with deer out here. I got a board here, one middle ways, one all the way up the other end to the right down here. I got some of Billy's bone sauce at Permapastures Farm. Ain't been another deer track in the in the garden. Every now and then we might see one way across the field over there, but nothing over here at the garden. Kind of corn there. Condensed corn. Still corn. It's going pretty good though. And sit out here at night, see if we can hear it grow. Uh, this, you didn't plant this at the same time, did you? No, this was planted like, behind. Like a couple of weeks behind. Matter of fact, the further we go this way, this way, it, this is later. Everything's later this way. Then we planted some uh, Those are pie pump, pumpkins. Yeah, pie pumpkins here. here. Little NC Farmer of North Carolina gave us those. Appreciate that, Brandon. They growing pretty good. I actually want them in his giveaway. Yep. For the seeds. Yep, they come. I get that tiller in there again. Again, it's that that ground, in ground garden like my granddaddy used to do. Those are the cream peas. Oh, they look like Dixie. They like cream peas. I think the Dixie are on the end. Okay. Watermelons. This is the first time we've ever had that many watermelons yep. in that well. They they crawling they crawling they crawling pretty good though. Get another good rain on them, it'd be really good. That's a straight tomato. Yep, that's a lone wolf tomato. This is Danny corn. Yep. This is Danny corn here. It was planted later as well. Yep, Dixie Lee peas right here. Five rows of those or six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six rows of those. And then purple hull peas right here. So as you can see, we got a variety. And coming from all the way at the other end, we planted them in squares, kind of different from what we used to. I like the short rows. Kind of mixing it up. Yeah, we do like the short rows. Don't seem like it ain't as bad when you it ain't as a, a, It's not as intimidating. Yeah, but if you get on a row long as here, you mm. Yep. What's this corn? More Danny corn right there. This is planted later, yep. a lot later. Everything is planted later, like I said, the further it's you go to July. That's right. And then we've got some more squash. We've got crook neck and straight neck. Straight neck. Another. So all of these are, yeah. Yep, that's right. They kind of spotty. A few of them didn't come up, but we overall we got a pretty good stand of those. We planted some of those uh, really late, just the other day, those uh, cushyalls right here in this little area. So hopefully they'll be coming up a little later. And here's the... I guess if they come up, we'll know yeah. the Here's the straight neck squash. Yeah, sure. Baby lima beans. So that's a good little stretch. That's our that's our in ground garden out here. Kind of give you a little reference of where that is to the house. Pan around here. Right it's right out see. front. <laughs> but anyway, that's our garden. All right, and this is the garden up here at the greenhouse. Got a row of uh, cucumbers right there. Got some peas, peas and a row of corn down through the middle of those peas, and one long sunflower that hadn't hit it out yet. Ask them what I can do about, um, I think that's aphids on there. Well, our grandparents used to call it louse. What there, I don't know if you can see it right there or not. See that? Going up on this, it's on a good many of the stems oh, here. Right. Yeah, on a good many of them. This whole bed. Let us know what might, what you think is good for that, or what causes that, or what we could do different, to, uh, or what we could fix it. Started off with the water hose, but... Yeah, there's beans there and corn. They got it too. Yeah, at least I see that. Nothing we have a problem with is those doggone aggravating June bugs. Those are running pretty good right there. That's uh, pole be a pole bean. What kind? Of, a rattlesnake or Kentucky? Might be the Kentucky. And those are um, first time I ever grew zucchini. Mm -hmm. And then you got more maters. They got a good many maters coming on them right there. Here. All up under there. Look at that. The one long sunflower over there. Yep. It's about done its thing, ain't it? Yep. More beans right here. Yep. And that's a pole bean up there. Yeah. And um, June balls have made their way in there. Zinnias. That's a pumpkin. That was a volunteer you planted that there. Planted it. I have a volunteer. I know. I didn't know if it came back like from last year. Those are really pretty, uh, what, a week ago. Yeah. Every one of them. The sunflower? Yeah. And my um, gourds are over there. Yeah. Luther, Luther gourds. They'll feel that. Yeah, they'll feel that whole corner of one. Squash, squash, tomato. There are plenty of squash. And I got peppers on each corner. Oh, yeah. You see the peppers right there? There's one right behind you, too. Yeah. And elderberry outside, on all down the side right there. Right there. Yep. Trying to think of what it is. Boys. Okay. And I got some comfrey planted in there. 
amongst them too. Just some old bowl that gets sticking up through that squash through yep. the blue. I kind of got them jumbled up in there, but that's from that's a permaculture way. Yep. And big old maters there. We got to put some else on them before they start falling over. We got another pepper right there. Yeah, another pepper, more squash. And some more borage. Mm. And some comfrey down there. And yep. Um, strawberries. And I think this is a zucchini. And the is coming up in there. And some of those creasy greens I had in that bed, they're coming Yeah, they up come up. from a little NC farmer too. This is a lemon, brother. Suggs grew from the seed, but it never has bloomed. Some more of the um, candy, I think she called it candy strop pepper. Mm -hmm. Ramona, yep. And then the little um, cherry tomatoes. Oh, I got a pepper on there. Sure enough. And then our big old. Bat volunteers. Yep. Elderberry. Elderberry bush. And there's our barren uh, green salt yep. that we got those taters out of the other day. Lemongrass. Yep, lemongrass here. That's a volunteer uh, score right there. Hey, if it'll volunteer, as long as it ain't in the way, we'll let it volunteer. Those are volunteer um, sweet potatoes. Came up in that bucket. I'm going to use those for um, slips. Got some cut off and put in water, and I put some of them in the ground, and they're still they're making. This right here, these big ones are moringa trees. They volunteered. I planted the little ones this year, but those were volunteer moringa trees. Down in a bucket. I can take these and dry them and make my own moringa pies. Some more um, peppers. And, that, and that's where I stuck those potatoes. I clipped them off and stuck them down in that dirt and it looks like they're doing like they live in that Right there. I've been eating down there. They got some big ones. I've been eating them in juices. I think we got plenty of blackberries and raspberries. Hmm? Yeah. The whole corner is full of raspberries. Just like we like it. Big old blueberry bushes over there and elderberry. That's another volunteer elderberry. Another volunteer elderberry. Look at all the Elderberries on, gonna be on that one. I can see sunset a little bit better. I'll see the orange back there anyway. This rosemary bush here is here we got here, but it's that's some good it's smelling grown. stuff. It's really grown. The sun's already been clipping on and it's still getting it. Yeah. So we got it right here, along with the elderberry, raspberries, blackberries. blackberries. Blueberries, Blueberries uh, just a whole variety of stuff. These are some, um, bee, that's some bee balm and a, uh, yeah, another little. Those are some mullein plants that volunteer there. Those are some ferns from last year that come back. Bee balm. Bee balm. And this is another mullein plant that comes back every year and it's fixing the bloom. Rosemary down there. Yep. Some more lemongrass up here next to the patio with the uh, this is my lime tree. Lime tree. tree. Didn't you have a lime on there? Oh, yeah. A few baby lemons. See that little one right there? I don't know if you can see it. You can. This one right here. And there's some more baby ones right mm -hmm. there. Right there. Sage. That's a lemon tree. Variegated lemon. That's a lemon tree. Mint. Yeah, I love the way that stuff smells. That's my lemon tree. 
the sweet friends gave me. Yeah. It's almost as tall as I am. There she is, Mr. Tom, Miss Sherry. Thank y'all very much. It's got doing me, doing very well. Growth. You got a lot of new growth on it. That's a, a, a long strawberry. <laughs> Couple of tomatoes I got up here. That's, this is some, some thyme right here and a, and a little. I just first time I ever grew stevia. Mm hmm. Got a little bit of everything. I tell you, we got food stuck everywhere. I got a little bit of Swiss chard in here that I'm going for the rabbit. They love it too. Got some lemon balm. More lemon balm. These are um, elderberry cuttings. I'm rooting. Eight more plants. This is a like bird. That's about it for the vegetable going. And, the and more elderberry. That Look at that. I cut that we this cut is what we're talking about. We cut this thing it's back. To the ground and tried to pull the roots up. Yeah, I and mean, we cut it back just last year. Yep. Look at it. It's way up there. I mean, that's probably seven foot tall or more. Maybe eight. But I mean, it's come out there. It blocks the whole gate now, and it, we had it cut down to nothing but a nub. Must be in the shirt. So we cut it back, but it's just come back like crazy. That's how tall that thing is. That's the porch That's with the piece right there. deck way up there, and it's almost up top of that deck. Go way out there. The roots yeah. of it. And then more raspberries. Yeah, they're growing outside the fence. Yeah, How good you can there. see them over there. We didn't plant these here. And then, like I told you the other day, we did a little devotion. Figs are still doing good. And the the, the limb that I use for the devotion. It still looks just like the rest of them. This is the one the limb I show you that have fallen down. There's the figs still pretty and green and the leaves. And here's the leaves and figs on the limb that's still upright. So. All right, that's a wrap on the garden tour for now anyway. Huh? Yeah, yeah that thing's really it's big. Yeah, it's pretty too. We gotta trim it, limb it up a little bit. I like it. It's our front porch. <laughs>